Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Blanca Estela and welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial using the Tardis Pro Palette by Tarte. It is going to be my first time using the palette, so I'm so excited. This one right here. And I already went ahead and I primed and set my eyelids, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump in with the eyeshadows. To start off with my crease, I'm going to go ahead and apply this shade called Whimsy. This one right here and I'm gonna apply that all over my crease first and the palette did come with this brush right here so I'm gonna be using this brush as well and then to deepen it up a little bit I'm gonna take the same brush and dip it into this other shade called edgy this brown one right here And then to really blend that out, I'm going to go ahead and dip my brush to the shade called Innocent. This one right here. I'm going to dip my Mikasa brush number E320. And I'm just going to dip it in a little bit to, just so I can blend um, the crease out a little bit because it is looking a little bit harsh. So I'm, I'm going to blend it back and forth. And then in circular motions. But slowly bringing it up to the brow bone just so it can look a little bit more blended and I'm going to dip my brush into the lighter shade little by little just so I won't get rid of those two other colors I just want to soften it up a little bit now with the crease brush I'm going to go ahead and apply this shade called drama to my crease this one right here and I'm going to be using my Mikasa brush number E310, which is a pencil brush. And I'm going to use a pencil brush to apply this color because I only want to focus it on the crease. So this brush is really going to help me to just keep that eyeshadow on the crease and it won't move it anywhere else. And I'm also going to put it on the outer view of the eye. So I'm going to put it on the outer V and then bring it to the whole crease. And then with the same brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend that out a little bit. In circular motions to make sure that it gets blended out with the other colors. And then back and forth. And then back to circular motions. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply this shimmery shade called Trendy. This one right here. If you're not new to my channel, then you know that I'm going to go ahead and apply this darker shimmery shadow to the half of the outer lid. And then a lighter one to the rest of the lid. And then to apply Trendy, I'm going to go ahead and use my Mikasa brush number E230. So I'm going to dip my brush in here. And then to really get it really pigmented, I'm going to spray it with my Fix Plus. And then to the outer V of the lid, I'm going to go ahead and apply this gold one called Ethereal. I think that's how you say it. This one right here. To pack that on, I'm going to be using my AOA Studio Brush number E123. I'm going to dip my brush in there. And I'm also going to wet it with my Fix Plus. For eyeliner today, I'm going to be using my Maloria Voluminous Liner. This one right here. One of my favorite eyeliners. Put on some 
lashes and I primed my face off camera. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to foundation. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This one right here. And this one is in the shade 108 Caramel Beige. And to blend it out, I'm going to be using my Lemon Drop by Mikasa Beauty, one of my favorite beauty sponges. For concealer today, I'm going to be using my BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. This one right here. And then to set my face today, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier H.N. Tucson powder. This one right here. Then so I won't look so powdery, I'm going to go ahead and set it with my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. This one right here. To contour today, I'm going to be using my Cheek Parade Palette by Benefits. And I'm going to go ahead and be taking Hula, the Hula Bronzer. And I'm going to contour my face and my nose with it. And to contour my face, I'm going to be using my ALF Professional Bronzing Brush. Contour my nose, I'm going to be using my Moda brush number 804 from the Prismatic Collection. And then to blend out my nose highlight, I always use the Hula Light, which is underneath the Hula Bronzer. And first, I like to bring it out over here, and then I just go ahead and circle the motions and I... And then I go ahead and blend out this side, like that. For blush today, I'm going to be using my NYX Baked Blush, this one right here, and this one is in the shade Pink Fetish. It is a really, really pretty pink blush. And to apply that, I'm going to be using my AOA Studio Brush number F20. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eyes, and in the bottom lash, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using this same shade, Drama, and the this one called Trendy. So first, I'm gonna dip into Drama, which is the matte one, and I'm gonna be using my pencil brush for BH Cosmetics, and this one is brush number 105. And then with the same brush, I'm going to go pick and pick up Trendy, and I'm going to apply that on top of the matte one. And then with another uh, brush, this is my ALF Professional Crease Brush. I'm going to dip into the other shimmery gold shade that I put on my lid, and I'm going to put that as my inner corner highlight.
And then in my waterline, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner pen Pencil. This one right here. For highlight today, I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlighting Palette. This one right here. I'm going to be using this shade right here called Glow. Highlight come through. For lipstick today, I'm going to be using my Mega Liquid Cast 2 Matte Lipstick by Wet n Wild in the shade Flame of the Game. One of my favorite lip colors and lipsticks. So this is the final look right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and until next time.